What's happening, folks? Kevin here from Sportsbox. Breaks.com coming at you live Wednesday, April 6th, 2022. We are breaking 2022 Tops Heritage Base Heritage Baseball. Uh, choose team case break number eight. Who has who in the break? Arizona Diamondbacks and the Braves belong to Christopher J. We got the Orioles for Mike T, the Red Sox for Tommy K, the Cubbies, Joe W. White Sox, Mike T, the Reds for Greg Z. Guardians going to Christopher J, the Rockies for Tommy K. Tigers, John M. Astros, Tony K, KC Royals, Christopher J. Angels for Dean E, the Dodgers, Torian T. Uh, we got the Marlins for Tommy K. Brewers and the Twins for Christopher J. New York Mets for Tony K, the Yankees, Greg Z. We got two in a row here for Torian. We got the A's and the Phillies. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, David R. Padres for Mike T. San Francisco Giants going to Christopher J. The Mariners for Joe W. Uh, Cardinals, Rain C. Tampa Bay Rays for James D. The Rangers for Torian T. Toronto Blue Jays going to Joe W. And the Washington Nationals going to Greg Z. Here we go, guys. All cards do ship. So if I pass some stuff off, just in an effort to keep the break going at a reasonably fast pace, understand you will get it. Um, I can't remember. Are these the ones that are like... I think so, right? They're like their orientation inside the case is kind of weird, right? Actually, no, they're not. They're normal. All right, there it is. 2022 Heritage. Let's flip them. All right, let me see how I could do this. Tommy, did I eat dinner yet? I did not. I did not. So I will be hungry by the time this is over. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six equals 12. Everything will be shipping off to you. These are long boxes. <clears throat> One sec. My garbage can is in disarray here. All right, our topper on this one is the oversized card of Joey Votto, Reds. Nice. All right, there it is. Bringing back the 73 design. Guys, thanks for the rally and getting this one filled up. I love it. I did not think this was going to go. You guys actually surprised me. We put that 15% off coupon. Jay modified it to unlimited use, and boom. Next thing you know, everybody's going nuts. It's unlimited use. The opening 15 code is unlimited use now. Um, until Sunday. So if you guys didn't get a chance to uh, use it yet, it's good on the remaining 2022 baseball that we have on the website, which is going to be the Series 1 Jumbo and Series 1 Hobby. I mean, if you guys rallied on more of those, we could even keep the breaks going tonight, so... Packs open, nice and smooth.
All right, here we go, guys. Again, every card will ship to you. So we'll try to keep this going at a reasonable pace. Let me get the camera focus working for us. All right, Jose Abreu at the very top. No Abreu, no case. We're looking for the variations. We're looking for our hit. And if you guys see me pass something off that is of interest and I just, you know, kind of breeze past it, let me know before I get too far past it and I'll try to bring it back up into the camera for you. Before I pass off any high profile names that I should be shuffling off to the side. So the 1973 flashbacks cards and all that stuff, we do not sell a 31st uh, team spot in this stuff. There's just not enough in there to do a 31st spot. So we will kind of just randomly pepper those into uh, team stacks as we're doing our sorting. Did the same thing with all of our previous cases of this stuff. Orioles times three there, 2021 rookie pitchers. I think I see it coming up. All right, what do we got? We got a Javier Baez Clubhouse Collection Relic. Clubhouse Collection Relic of Baez. So first hit coming up is going to go to the Detroit spot and John M. Baez, Tigers. Any dual team cards? There's a Jaron Duran rookie, so I'll sleeve up the Durans. Any uh, any multi-team cards that come up, unless they're a hit, they will go to uh, placement on the card, top to bottom, left to right. So it's a side-by-side -side card. It'll go to the team on the uh, far left. If it's a hit card, meaning it has numbering 50 or lower, some kind of relic, some kind of auto on the card, then it would run through the randomizer with the teams to determine who gets it. That's just the way we've been doing it for eight years now. Eight years, guys. Where did that time go? Where did that time go? Nineteen seventy three flashback of Steinbrenner. And Cy Young, all time victory leader. All right, a little bit left here. Ooh, we got a black chrome coming up. And here it is. It is Yadier Molina, black chrome. Numbering to 73, nice. Numbering to 73 for St. Louis. That's a pretty good uh, little hit right there. St. Louis going off to rain. All right, that'll do it for box one. Box one is down. All right, I'm going to work down this stack right here. Box number two. What do we got as our topper? Our topper is an oversized Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Uh, Indians in this one go to... Do, 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 do. Indians, Indians, Indians. Where are you at? Well, I'm looking at Guardians. Uh, Guardians, Christopher J. How dare I say Indians? All 
right, there's our two stacks. Jay, where are you heading to uh, this weekend? I know you said you're going to be out of town. Atlantic City again? Yes, correct, Tony. Correct, correct. I know. I've barely been out of the house for like the last two and a half weeks. This uh, illness of mine had me like really messed up. I finally feel like I can maybe go somewhere. I say that and the damn thing is going to like flare up again. I know it. I just know it. I don't know. I took a COVID test uh, yesterday just to ensure that I didn't get it again. And it was negative. But again, it could be like a remnant. I did have COVID at the end of January. It could be a remnant of that. That just stuck around. And then Kathy got sick and I got re-sick. <laughs> so... <coughs> <coughs> Oh, we got a hot box here, guys. I didn't even realize that as I was busting the packs, we got a purple chrome hot box. The After Effects, I, I believe you're probably right there, T. All right, here we go. Garrett Cole. Let's see. Purple chrome's coming up. We got an Eloy purple chrome. Very nice. Got a Mookie purple. Byron Buxton, Minnesota Twins on the purples. Here's a Kenta Maeda, Minnesota purple. Aaron Judge coming up. I see it already. Aaron Judge purple for the Yanks. <clears throat> Got a little Miguel Cabrera, Detroit. And here comes our hit. Our hit is, how about a Jason Hayward for the Cubbies Clubhouse Collection? Cubs going off to Joe W. That's a Bat Relic. Bat Relic of Hayward, nice. Then a Freddie Peralta, purple, Milwaukee. And here's our first appearance of Wander. Wander showing on up. So there he is, Tampa Bay Rays, and this one belonged to uh, James D., James D. get the first bit of Wander. Are those still going for like the same price they were when this originally came out? I know they were going for like, I don't know, 17, 18 bucks, something like that. Cody Bellinger Dodgers with the purple. Just the base rookies of Wander. Tim Anderson, White Sox. Kyle Hendricks, Cubbies. <clears throat> Like a glove. There's Jared Walsh, Angels with the purple. Trey Mancini, Orioles purple. All right, that's one stack. A few bucks less now. like the stock market fellas like the stock market like the crypto markets even more very volatile Ozzy Alves purple endangered species act was passed 1973 Joe Ryan for the twins with one of the purple chromes <clears throat> Uh, 
George Springer, purple. Maxi Cranick again. Francisco, purple for the Mets. Bryce Harper, Philadelphia. Didi, levitating. <laughs> A little tipsy. Nothing wrong with being tipsy. Tatis, purple. Two cards sticking together there. There's a Jaron Duran. Put that in my sleeve stack. Uh, Brios. Purple. And what do we got here? We got a real one auto. Guys, we pulled a relic already in this box, right? Jason Hayward. Now we're pulling a very nice real one auto in the same box for the A's. I think we pulled him in one of the previous cases, right? Some old school action for the A's. Orlando Cepeda for the A's. That goes to T. <laughs> Kathy's, Kathy's in there asking who's sorting this one. Well, that would be you. There you go, T. Congrats, buddy. Bonus hit in this box. And then a Mike Yastrzemski purple. Joe, is it you? Yes, I remember that card. I remember that card once before. Nice hit, T. Got a Stanton purple. Brian De La Cruz purple. <laughs> She's going to bend it in half. <coughs> All right, a little bit left here. How about a Wander New Age Performers? Nice. So two Wander appearances. Uh, Ramirez purple. Devers purple and that will do it guys all right box number two down <clears throat> box number two I'm still shocked we got this one all the way filled up from 17 17 spots down to zero I love it <laughs> why is she crying all right, here we go. How about a, uh, what do they call these again? The pinups? The offset oversized card like that? The, uh, I think it's pinup, right? Pete Alonzo, Mets. She is slowly poisoning. She's slowly poisoning me. It's that thallium again. Keep surprising me saying she's making dinner every night, but what it is is just injecting poison into the dinner. Uh huh, see that? Guys, the second puppy loses his manhood this Friday. <laughs> Pour one out for your homie. He's like a little terror. So uh, hopefully that'll take him down a couple notches. It took the first one down some notches, that's for sure. He's pretty chill now. Well, as, uh, as it would be, she does not have that password. Yep, losing his manhood. <laughs> I got I got to protect my life. I can't just give away all the crypto. I got to set up a dead man's trigger. A dead man's trigger, you know, it's one of those things where if you don't do something within a certain amount of time, it assumes you're dead, and it sends out an email with, like, information on how to, uh, you know, get your hands on that crypto, but it only goes out if you're, if you're actually dead. So, dead man trigger it's going to have to be. 
All right, here we go. I see some chrome at the top here. What do we got? We got chrome coming up. How about a Xander chrome? Very nice. Boston Red Sox going off to Tommy K. That's going to be the 673 for you, Tom. Randy Rosarina. What's it going to be? We did pull a real one auto already, which shocked me because it was a dual hit. Here's a Luis Gill. Throw that in my to-be-sleeved-up stack. Jeremy, are you doing anything with uh, crypto now? I know you were fooling around with Doge when it was all the rage last year. Do you do anything with crypto or did you give up on it? It's hard to get excited about it. I'm just holding my crypto for pretty much indefinitely. It just sits there. All right, here we go. What do we got here? How about a black border of Garcia for the Marlins? Nice. Black border for the Marlins. That goes to uh, Tommy K. Nice, Tommy. Nice, nice. Are those to 50, if I'm not mistaken? I think those are, right? All right, here it comes. How about a Vladdy Jr. Clubhouse Collection? Toronto Blue Jays going to Joe. Vladdy Jr., and it's a bat relic. Nice. Clubhouse Collection relic of Vladdy Jr., Congrats. Nice hit. Nice hit. All right. That's one side. The other side still to come. Here we go. Let's just kind of like stay above the average of what's the average, like three autos in one of these cases. Let's, let's see four. Four would be good. Four would kind of buck the trend. So again, just to show, like, here's a multi-team card. This is going to be a Dodgers card based on placement. So, again, it would have to be a hit, considered a hit, for us to run through the randomizer to determine who gets it. There's Wander again, new H performer version. All right, a little bit left here from box three. Okay, that does it. Three boxes down, guys. Three boxes down. Went to Atlantic City on Sunday. <clears throat> oh, fancy, fancy. All right, here we go, box four. We have a little Hammer and Hank action. Oversized card of Hammer and Hank. Braves going to Christopher. Empty box.
Nice. Jeremy, you guys are staying at the uh, at Caesars as well, right? Isn't that the uh, is it the host property? Where is it happening? Or is the the Caesars connects over to the host property, right? As you can hear, it's still there. It's not as bad, but it's definitely still there. I think most years it's in the Chicago location and they jump it over to Atlantic City, I think like twice in the last like Five or six years, it's been in Atlantic City, but most of the time, I believe, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think most of the time, it is in that Chicago space. All right, here we go. Odd number years. Is that the way they do it? And there's a Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran rookie. Nothing yet. <clears throat> Guys, again, we got a uh, we got a green coming up here. Green chrome personals available. If you guys want to do some personals, Jason has most of them. I have some stuff here, but we can keep going with personals after this break is done. And here it comes. It's going to be a Brian De La Cruz for Miami, uh, which I believe was the final team picked up, right? Tommy snagged him. There you go, Tommy, numbering to 273. All right, that does it for one side. We're still do our hit in this box. Here we go. Tatis. Nolan Ryan and Robbie Ray. All right, here comes something, guys. Is it going to be a real one auto? Is it going to be a real one auto? It is an image variation of Mike Trout. Excellent. What does it look like? That's cool. Very cool card right there. Angels with the nice image variation. Going off to Dean. Nice hit right there. Mike Trout image variation. Still do our hit. Yeah, that's cool, right? Very cool.
And here it comes. How about Buster Posey Clubhouse Collection Relic for the Giants? San Francisco going to Christopher. What do we got? Clubhouse Collection Relic. Buster Posey. And there's Mike Trout to finish it. So nice box right there. We got two more left on this side we're working through. And the whole other side. All right, here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So eight boxes left. How about a Bryce Harper? Oversized card topper for the fills. Series 1 Jumbo, Series 1 Hobby, both of them sitting at 22 spots. If we can get those guys in the teens tonight, that would be a big win. That would help us out for the next live session, which is likely going to be on Monday. So 22 and 22 in the Series 1. Get it while the getting's good on that stuff, guys. 15% off will not be offered next week on this. So you can get 15% off the Series 1 using that code, opening 15. All right, here we go. Next box. <clears throat> There's Wander again. Decent amount of appearances by Wander. Are we going to see ink? I think we might. I don't know why, but I feel like we might see ink in this one. Well, I was wrong because here it is. Clubhouse Collection Relic of Jose Abreu for the White Sox. White Sox go to Mike T. There you go. Nice. Usually it's the uh, the napkin white. You got the black going on in this one, which actually is far cooler looking. Jose Abreu, Clubhouse Collection Relic. Let's see if we have anything cool left in here. All right, that's one side.
There's Kyle Farmer, which makes me want to sing Informer. That's, that's how that whole big, long ridiculousness started a couple weeks ago because of the Kyle Farmer cards. Which I think I have uh, uh, trigger set up for snow, right? Exclamation point snow. There's a Jaron Duran rookie. Louis Gill rookie. Yeah, the heavy base breaker. All right, there it is. <coughs> All right, last box on this side, fellas. This box will put us at the halfway mark. What do we got on the topper? We got a Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey, San Fran. Oversized card topper. Empty box. So we are at what, 37 minutes and change here. Just trying to gauge if I'm on pace to be at that like one hour 25 mark, probably. Seems about right, because it'll take some time to get these this particular box broken. And then multiply that by two. One side. All right, here we go. Let's start on this stack. I've been starting on the left stack each time we've done one. Let's start on the right stack. <clears throat> Luis. Seventy three flashback, the World Trade Center. All 
All right, nothing yet. All right, nothing. Hit's going to fall on the second side. We've officially filled up one base bucket. Here comes the second side. Making us wait here, fellas. They're making us wait. Getting deep into the second stack here before we're seeing anything. Here's Wander, New Age Performers. And here it is. It is another Clubhouse collection. So Cubbies getting another one for Joe Wilson Contreras. Clubhouse collection relic. Get the little Cubs blue action going on. See some hand numbered stuff with colored ink, right? That would be great. All right, that'll do it. We're officially halfway through it, and we are at the 43 minute mark. So, 43 minutes times two, give or take, should kind of be where we're at. Hour 20, hour 25. Subtract the, uh, the roll call time out of that because we only do that once on the first half. And we have a 1973 card in here. Chris Chambliss. Chambly? Indians. How dare I say Indians? Guardians. Going to Christopher J. Empty. Yes. Nineteen seventy three, they were probably smoking in the dugouts before they went up to bat. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but it's probably not too far off the truth. Whoa. That card just flew right out of there, man. Woof. watching some of those old newscasts of like Walter Cronkite and stuff at the news desk at the you know the big national news going off at night sitting there literally smoking while they're doing the newscast was it an image thing like you know the image of smoking was like that cool that they allowed these guys or they were just that into smoking that they, they couldn't they couldn't help themselves but to smoke while doing the newscast
Oh, how times have changed. All right, here we go. I'm going to start on this side. And I see a card facing backwards, which might be the card that flew out. No, actually it's not. I was going to say it might be the card that flew out and I placed it back in there. But I don't think it is. I think that's the hit. Here it is. How about a Salvador Perez KC Clubhouse Collection Relic? KC going off to Christopher. Salvador Perez Bat Relic. Very cool. Kansas City gets the hit, so the hit was pulled in pretty short order in this one. Let's see what else we got. Let's see if we got some variations or something. Some chromes in here. There's Luis. We got something. We got something. How about another black border to 50? Seattle with a Logan Gilbert. Seattle goes to Joe W. There you go, Joe. Black border action to 50. feel a sneeze coming on <laughs> I'm like I feel it it's building and there's Wander to finish it off so Wander another one <clears throat> yep that's exactly correct I believe you guys can uh Tell me if I'm wrong, but the black borders are to 50, but they're just not serial numbered on the card, right? All right, here comes the second half. There's a Jaron Duran. Here comes something else. What do we got here? Numbering to seventy three, JD Martinez. I'm looking to see. We don't have French back. What is the uh, so number to seventy three Martinez right there? Boston Red Sox going to Tommy. There you go, Tommy. What are we looking at? What is this actual? Uh, I'm gonna put it in my hit stack for you. Is it French text? Oh, it is French. I was looking for French text and I didn't see it. And it's in this like second paragraph, if you will. So yeah, there you go. 71 out of 73. All right, that'll do it. We got one, two, three, four, five to go. Sneaky little French text going on there, French back. Next one. Ah, 
How about an Upshaw? Braves. 1973 card in there. Braves going off to Christopher. We're due some more ink. We're getting down to the last five boxes here. We've only pulled, what, one auto so far, correct? So if we want to stay on par with the usual, three is usually... There's no guarantee on that, but... We need to start pulling some. That's my point. The Upshaw. One of the better 73 cards. All right, there's one side. Have you guys been watching... Um, Oh, shoot, I don't even know. Is it HBO? Is it Hulu? Is it Showtime? It's uh, the Winning Time show about when Jerry Buss bought the Lakers and uh, kind of turning the Lakers into a winning team and stuff in the era of, like, when Magic Johnson was a rookie. It's pretty interesting. I mean, I know it's obviously, you know, acted up for fun, but... Uh, Pretty cool series thus far. It's pretty good, right, T? Yeah, we've been watching it. It's pretty good stuff. Jerry Buss was a... Um, well, he's dead now, but he... Um, he was on some seasons of High Stakes Poker, which was a pretty good poker show back in poker's boom, you know, 10, 12 years ago, whatever it was, maybe even longer. He was on some episodes. Didn't really have much to do in the poker world, but uh, it's funny because did not realize that guy was such a, uh, a colorful character. All right, here we go. What do we got? Here it is. How about a Jordan Alvarez? Real one auto. Nice. Oh, man. That's a boom. How about red ink hand number to 73 Astros? Tony, what a hit. Remember when I said we need some hand ink, uh, hand numbered stuff here? Well, there you go. Jordan Alvarez, red ink, hand numbered 11 of 73. That's a beauty, man. That is a beauty. Congrats. I want to make sure I didn't miss one in here. I was so excited to see that Alvarez. Holy cow. Nice hit. Nice hit. Steinbrenner again. Well, we were due some more ink, and they came through with a good one there, bud. 11 of 73 on that one. What service is that uh, winning time on, T? Is it Showtime or HBO or what the hell is it? Hulu? They all blend after a while. There's a Jaron Duran, New Age Performers. HBO Max. All right, that's one side.
Here comes the other side. Wander. Here comes something facing backwards, guys. We have a color of Vladdy Jr. Color variation Vladdy Jr. Very nice. Toronto. What a box. Joe W. on the ownership here. Color variation Vladdy Jr. Nice hit, Joe. Yeah, the color variations. I love it. What a box. Here's the Jared Duran going into my sleeve up stack. And a little bit left here. Four boxes to go after this one. Tom, you mentioned dinner before. Let me tell you, man, getting hungry. Four boxes left, and this guy's going to be getting himself some food. I'm trying to determine if I'm going to be good and not eat carbs tonight, or if I'm going to just go nuts. I feel like the latter of the two. Now that I can actually taste food, since I've had this cough cold thing, I know it's a common trend of uh, you know, COVID to not have a sense of taste or smell, but when you get a bad cold, generally that happens too. Salvador Perez, oversized topper for KC. And I've had like very little taste of, uh, or sense of taste or sense of smell for the last like week and a half. So now I could actually taste the food. <laughs> I mean, Taco Bell wouldn't be a bad choice, Tommy. Let's just, let's just throw that out there. Wouldn't be bad. That Crunchwrap Supreme is not gonna eat itself. I'm not sure. I may try to I may try to be good. <clears throat> Before I got this illness, I got like a new set of uh, the adjustable dumbbells and a nice new weight band. So I started working out. I was feeling great. Then I came down with this illness for the last whatever month. And I'm like no working out. Feel horrible. Granted, I do have a gym membership as well that goes to waste every month. We're going to see more ink in this box. Back to back, real one auto boxes. I'm calling it. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the working out you need, buddy. It's all the working out you need. That's my usual workout plan. I'm just trying to do a little better. It's not successful thus far though. All right, here we go. Let's start on the left. Oh, let's start on the left stack. They're falling out of my hand here. 
All right, nothing in the stack that fell. Louis Gill, New Age Performers. Jaron Duran. Can we conjure up another real one auto? No, but we got a mini here of Zach Grinky for the Astros. Those are numbered to 100. Nice. I see Chrome. We got white border of Devers numbering to 999 on that one. And I think I see our hit, and it looks like it's going to be a real one. Real one, or not a real one, my bad. A clubhouse collection of DJ LeMahieu for the Yankees. Yankees going to Greg Z. Clubhouse collection relic coming your way, Greg. Not too bad, not too bad. At least we're getting some color on these uh, on these jersey relics. Like I said before, most of the time you're getting just like white napkin. At least like the the White Sox one was black. That one's got the the gray coloring going on. All right, that's one side. We still got the other side. Let's see something cool. Variation wise, on that one, we didn't see any action, right? I don't believe we did. We got some different stuff. We got the color variation, we got the French back. Nothing yet. Lars Nutbar. With nougat. All right, that'll do it. Three boxes to go. Here we go. Nineteen seventy three card, or what are we going to see? Yes, we are. 1973 card, San Francisco Giants, uh, Charlie Fox manager card. Manager and coaches, and they put the, the silver foil stamp directly over his face, right over his head. Charlie Fox, San Francisco. That's different. Right over his dome. Right? It's funny. They just like, eh, we'll just stamp it right there, right on his head.
All right, second side. Do some more ink. Let's find it. I see chrome. Got a Jackson a Cower. Chrome rookie for KC. Kansas City going to Christopher. Numbering 673. Real hungry here, fellas. <laughs> Real, that's why I'm getting so quiet. My stomach's growling on me. All right, I think our hit's coming up in here, and I think it's going to be a clubhouse collection. Here it is. How about a Bruhan? All right, clubhouse collection relic. Tampa Bay Rays going to James D. There you go, and it's a bat relic. Little Bruhan. Tampa Bay, nice. All right, that'll do it for that stack. Other side, two boxes still to go after this. Duran. You guys awake, asleep out there? What's going on? Everybody's real quiet. Keep me going for two more boxes. Let's get some chatter flying. I noticed yesterday, so I have T-Mobile as my cell phone provider, and every year they've done, um, for the last, like, shoot, I don't know, three, four years, they've done free mlb.tv subscriptions like right before opening day and i completely forgot about it and then yesterday i saw they had their t-mobile tuesdays and uh sure enough there it was again mlb.tv subscription for free for the season instantly had to pick that up i of course passed their credentials over to jay he gets more use out of it than i do he was excited free mlb.tv subscription for the season Here we go. Got a Mookie uh, pinup. Mookie. 
Dodgers. I completely forgot about that. I forgot they do that every year, and then sure enough, yesterday was the day. Most of the stuff they give you on those uh, T-Mobile Tuesdays is just absolute trash. It's like $2 value, stuff like that. Like, it's not trash. It's just not really good value. But that is shockingly good value that they give you at that free... I think it's like, what, 140 bucks for the season if you wanted to actually buy that subscription. Barely hanging in there, T. I'm barely hanging in there due to my hunger right now. <clears throat> Second side. All right, here we go. Two more stacks, one more full box. We got some white border chrome coming up here. Mike Moustakas for the Reds. That's going to be to nine ninety nine. And here comes our hit in pretty short order, and it's a Jeff McNeil Clubhouse Collection relic. So we have one remaining chance at another auto, because this one is going to be a relic card. It is the Mets. Got a little blue pinstripe going on. New York Mets going to Tony. London Bridge only opened in 1973. Why don't it feel like London Bridge was like hundreds of years old or something? Like... Learn something new every day. Goodness. So what did we get? Two autos, right? We had that box with the two hits in it. One was that uh one was an auto, and then we had that crazy red ink hand numbered. So I believe it's only two autos that so far. So holding out hope that that last box is gonna produce that third auto. The song London Bridge is falling down is older than that. Tony, right, right. I don't know. I gotta research that now. All right, second stack. That's the modern bridge. Jay chimes in with, with the info. Jaron Duran, Boston Red Sox, made of concrete. Ah, oh. isn't like the the original like London Bridge or one of those bridges like was like uprooted and like now exists in uh, like Arizona or someplace.
Here comes something, fellas. What do we got? We got an image variation of Cody Bellinger. That is really cool. Cool image variation for the Dodgers. That goes to T. Nice one there, T. Cody Bellinger, image variation. A very cool photo there. I like it. You got it, buddy. My pleasure. Lars Nutbar. And last little bit left here, and one full box. There's Wander one more time. All right, that'll do it. We're down to the last box. Down to the last box. It's our last chance for another auto. Topper is going to be... A Steve Blass 1973 card. They actually put the foil stamp in a good location on this one. Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates getting it. I knew it! I knew it! Christopher, I thought I was like dreaming that for some reason. 1960, an American tycoon bought London Bridge, all 10,000 tons of it, and moved it brick by brick to Lake Havasu, Arizona. I knew I remember that story from somewhere. I'm like... <clears throat> Somehow, in the deep recesses of my memory, that cobweb just, like, unearthed. All right, there's one side, fellas. I see a red. I think it's a red chrome in there. It's the only thing it really could be, right? I don't think they have red paper, like red border paper in this. All right, there it is. Packs on packs on packs, fellas. Let's go with this side first. We know we're going to see that red. Let's see if we got the hit in here, too. Here comes something, fellas, and it is. Real one auto. They made good by the last box. Tim Anderson, real one auto. There it is. White Sox on the board from Mike T. Tim Anderson is the auto. So they made good on their three autos per case uh, average. In the last box. Took us all the way until the last box to get there, but there it is. Congrats, Mike. All right, let's see what we got. There's Jaron Doran.
red chrome coming up. There's Luis Gill. And here it is. It is Reese Hoskins. Very cool. Philadelphia Phil's red chrome going to T. That is to 573 T. Reese Hoskins. That does it for that one. Let's see if we got anything in the other side. Hopefully we'll see some kind of variation to finish us off in the other stack. What time is it here, fellas? 7-12. Vegas time, that is. see some flipped backwards cards coming up I see something just as I say it it peeks out and what's it gonna be it's an image variation oh nice Jaron Duran image variation boom Boston Red Sox nice hit to end it off here for Tommy Jaron Duran with an image variation. Nice hit, Tom. Good stuff, buddy. Congrats. And right behind it is Wander. So Wander's showing up right after a nice Jaron Duran image variation. <coughs> T, thanks as always, my friend. Have a good weekend, buddy. We'll be back on Monday next. Very nice hit there, Tommy. Let's see if we have anything else. we still got more cards to look at, guys. Nothing there. Here's our last hope. I don't see any backwards cards. And that, my friends, is going to do it. Thanks so much again, guys, for getting this one filled up. Um, I'm going to tell you, you far exceeded my expectations on this one. I did not think we were going to get this one filled. We were at 17, kind of going into the end of the inception break, and boom, big rally happened once we opened up that coupon code. So thanks again, guys. Do appreciate it. These will be shipped out in the next shipping batch from Vegas.